Today we're going to demonstrate the calibration of, of a Type B concrete air meter used for determining the air content of concrete mixes as specified in ASTM C231. Please note, this presentation does not demonstrate the calibration of the sample chamber volume or the calibration vessel, which must be completed before calibrating a Type B concrete air meter. Once the lid assembly has been removed, our base is ready to be filled with room temperature water to begin the calibration process. Pick up the lid assembly and thread the straight calibration tube into the only threaded hole on the underside of the lid, directly beneath the petcock. Then place the lid assembly on top of the base and make sure that there is solid contact around the circumference, assuring that the meter is airtight once the lid is clamped to the base. Now, secure the two opposite clamps simultaneously. Repeat until all four clamps have secured the lid to the base. Next, open both petcocks so water can enter and exit the bowl freely without trapping air. To complete the filling of the meter with water and expel all remaining air, fill the blue syringe with water from the water bucket and place the end of the syringe inside the petcock with the straight calibration tube attached to it. The base is full when water flows out the opposite petcock. Once you're sure the air has been removed and the base is full of water, pump the unit up until the dial comes around to the predetermined initial pressure reading, visible at approximately the 5 o'clock position. And then, close both petcocks. Next, make small adjustments to assure that the needle is aligned to the proper initial pressure mark by lightly tapping the gauge body to stabilize the needle. And if too much air is pumped into the meter, loosen the air bleeder valve cap to reduce pressure. Be sure to tighten the valve cap before resuming. When the gauge at the outset reads the predetermined initial pressure, press down on the needle valve lever to inject air into the base. As you hold down the lever, Lightly tap the gauge body again to make sure that the gauge rests on zero. If two or more determinations show the same variation from zero, then the initial pressure line will have to be adjusted. If necessary, a new initial pressure line can be established by experimentation. Repeat the verification procedure by trying new initial pressure values in 0.5% steps until the final air content reads 0%. Gilson recommends verification of the initial pressure line each time the air meter is calibrated. Once the initial pressure is verified, screw the bent calibration tube into the top side of the petcock that already has the short tube fixed to it below, making sure that the bent tube opening faces down. Now, place the empty calibration vessel directly under the bent tube. Next, open the bent tube calibration petcock and slowly press down on the needle valve lever to fill the calibration vessel completely full of water. Once the calibration vessel is exactly full, stop the flow of water by releasing the needle valve lever. Next, discard the water in the vessel and set the vessel aside. For the Gilson HM30 concrete air meter, filling the calibration vessel exactly to the top removes a volume of water from the sample chamber, equivalent to 5% air content. This 5% air content value is within the range of normal use for most concrete mixes. To check air meter accuracy for mixes with higher air content, repeat the filling of the calibration vessel to verify accuracy at 10%, plus or minus 0.1%. Now open the opposing petcock to allow water from the bent calibration tube back into the base. Once the water flows back into the base, we can remove the bent calibration tube 
and set it aside. The air content in the sample chamber is now at the value determined by the calibration of the calibration vessel, nominally 5%. In your case, refer to the value determined previously during the calibration of the calibration vessel for the proper air content. Pump the unit back up to the predetermined initial pressure mark, making sure to lightly tap on the gauge body until it stabilizes and then close both petcocks. Now press down on the needle valve lever to exhaust the air into the base, making sure to hold the lever down while again lightly tapping the gauge body until the reading stabilizes. The gauge should read plus or minus 0.1% from the correct air content as determined by the calibration of the calibration vessel. As noted before, in this demonstration the value is 5%. If two successive readings show a variation greater than 0.1% from the correct air content, you'll have to adjust the gauge needle to read appropriately. This adjustment is performed by unscrewing the gauge glass and using a small screwdriver to move the gauge to the proper position. Once the adjustment is completed, reinstall the gauge glass and repeat the calibration procedure at least twice to ensure that the initial pressure line has not changed and that the air content readings are accurate to 0.1%. After two successive readings confirm that the gauge reading is within 0.1% of the correct air content, then the pressure meter is properly calibrated. Unclamp the lid assembly, remove the small calibration tube, and finally remove the water from within the base. For any questions about calibrating the HM30 or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.